Alright, what's up YouTube? I'm back. It's a brand new year. And you know we're gonna do things big this year. As you all know, I just started vlogging last year. Thanks to my wife and Jared and Brendan for pushing me to uh, go ahead and start this. I know it's uh, very small and um, I'm new at this. But I'm hoping this year will be our year. Hopefully this will be also Team Melissa's year. If Forbidden Kings will take off. Um, I have a lot of plans for the car. Uh, a lot of plans for the WRX as well. And I hope to take you guys along this journey as well. As far as what I'm looking at doing to the GTR, I want to go with a, a whole custom look. I'm looking at doing a desert tan body for the car, custom wide body, looking to run it anywhere between 18 by 10 and 18 by 12. Don't really care the brand as long as the car looks good. Uh, I already got the underglow on, as you guys can tell. Looking at pushing 500 uh, is my goal. If I make more, great. Uh, if not, it's time to put more work into the car. Uh, right now, this is a showcase car. <laughs> Man, damn, I really suck at this. Hopefully I can get better at it and I, I open up my shell more. I know I'm a little bland when it comes to talking in these videos. Uh, I got a set of Sparco seats that I'm really, really trying to put in. Just gotta get the brackets and uh, maybe get some four point harness, make it a little bit more race looking. I do have uh, the boost gauge waiting to go in. I just need to get another gauge. I'm going to replace that center gauge in the center console uh, with uh, whatever else I can get. Uh, I, I wanna put a sub in the car. I do have three twelves. Not sure what I wanna do, but I do know I need at least one in there. This car is gonna look fly, it's gonna look great. And I hope you guys are gonna be here for through us as we keep going on to the WRX so we're looking at doing a satin burgundy satin maroon body with rose gold accents and pink as a also alternative color as you can tell with the shift knob thanks to billet works um, I personally want to do bags but this being a budget build, um, a true budget build, there's only so much that I can do in such a short amount of time. I also want to look at getting new wheels for Rose, lowering the car. If not, um, doing bags, doing coilovers, preferably coilovers, but at the end of the day, it's what Rose wants because that's going to be her build. Um, not too, nothing too crazy in the horsepower range. A couple bolt-ons here and there in the tune just so she she needs to or she wants to she can let it rip uh, other than that her car is going to be a a lot of aesthetics and making it look good doing whatever she wants making her dream come true when it comes to the car uh, i just want to go ahead and thank all my subscribers my wife jared pushing me to go ahead and start this YouTube channel. As you can see, we're slowly building on something special. I hope that you guys continue to support us. And I also want to give a big thanks and shout out to my sponsors, White Line, Mishimoto, In Focus, Full Lock, Drift Shop, and Red Label Clothing. The links will be in the description to check them out. Also come back, stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy what we got coming in the future. Deuces. All right, guys, we're back after a less than sentimental attempt to thank everybody and give an idea of what we plan on doing next for next year. Hopefully, you guys stuck around past that because oh, it looks so bad. Uh, maybe later I'll get better at it. Who knows? But today, Rose is getting some new lug nuts. Got them some uh, rose gold lug nuts for Christmas. And this is an idea of what they're gonna look like when we're done. Yes, I know they stick way out past the wheel. Don't hate me for it. Uh, it's just temporary until we get new wheels, but I didn't wanna leave her on stock lug nuts when we're working on the GTR. So 
thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and do something small, do a little small things here and there for her car until we get mine at a decent spot where I can stop and we can go ahead and go full blown pain on her car. Uh, so stick around and we'll hopefully uh, get these on and look good. <laughs> all right. All right, so for all you sexy motherfuckers that may not know um, how to do this, because most of you guys do, because everybody I know that follows me is already in the cars. When you're tightening your lugs, you want to go in what's a star pattern. So you want to put this one on and go into this direction. Go across the logo. Um, I don't know other way to explain that, but uh, this is what it looks like on your car. <sighs> so, let's keep this going on to the next one. Alright guys, since I got bitch hands, I needed a little extra help from my sponsor's white line so my hands don't hurt as much because I got little uh, softy hands, so hopefully this uh, I'm going to eliminate some of the pain. I can't find the other glove for some reason, but uh, thanks to my sponsor's white line for sending me these. Alright guys, so my space is very limited where our, uh, the back driver's side tire is. So, we moved the car a bit forward so we can... Uh, but we, I mean, I can get up on uh, on this side without problem. So catch it back, and we'll be putting it on the last set of them. Yeah. All right. So the next thing you want to do after installing the lug nuts and after tightening them down, go around one more time and double check to make sure they're all tightened down. Because if not, you can be going 70 miles an hour on the highway. And next thing you know, a wheels gonna be falling. Up flying right past you and be questioning why my wheels going past me all right so uh we're gonna go check that and then we're gonna go pull up the car in, uh in the front of the driveway and do a quick little skinematic around it Get up close so you can see exactly what I'm looking at. Oh snap! Rose's cars. I won't say coming together because we didn't do much to it, but it looks better. In my opinion. t-shirt if you like it i'll leave a description link in the description below as well because this is from another youtuber out there doing it better than i am hopefully i'll get there one day because this man's on fire right now randy trong also another one of my vietnamese brothers holding it down uh go check him out go check his channel out his channel will also be in the description hopefully he'll see this all right let us know what you think down in the comments below and always stay tuned like comment subscribe and we'll see you next time stay tuned